Hey guys, in this video I will be showing how to import data into the database where your data contains geolocation points. Uh, and uh, for the sake of the demo I'll be using uh, the point structure because Backendless supports three different geometry formats, point, line, string, and polygon. But I'll be uh, focusing just on point uh, to demonstrate how it works. I have put together a sample CSV file that, which contains uh, world cities. You can see that file. Uh, in uh, uh, open in Excel, but it is CSV nevertheless. The, the key thing about importing location data is how you structure information in the first row, which is the header that contains information about the actual data types. So right here in this column, uh, and let me select the header, you see that the column name is location. And uh, in there, the, this is the format that Backendless uses, uh, there is going to be a property called type. And uh, the type uh, value is point. So this instructs backendless that the data contained within this column uh, are uh, points. Uh, the format of the data that uh, we use is called WKT, well-known text. And uh, the format is very straightforward. It's the word point and then in parentheses you specify longitude and then latitude. So these are the coordinates. Uh, the process of importing this data is very straightforward. Uh, you probably are already familiar with it, but let me show you how it works anyway. So you click on manage and then select import. And in here, if you're importing a single CSV file, click browse for the data service and then select the file you're importing and click import. Backendless will analyze the data that you have in there for the columns where you already specify the data type, it will ask you to confirm that these are indeed the data types. And as you can see for the column called location, it is going to be point. And you click finalize import, then Backendless uploads this file. Uh, Backendless console, that is, uploads the file. It is being processed. And when the data is processed by Backendless, you will see a data table corresponding to the file in the data section of uh, Backendless uh, console. Uh, so you can see here, there is a table called world cities and uh, one of the columns is location that contains all of the geo points corresponding to various cities that each row represents. So you can visualize the data by clicking the visualize uh, checkbox. Any pins that you will see on the screen, they correspond to the data currently displayed on the page, meaning that if you were to start paging through the data, then uh, you'll be getting a different data set every time and uh, the, the map here visualizes it accordingly. Likewise, if you were to run a query, for example, uh, let's just run a query to say country equals Canada. Then uh, we can go to Canada and uh, right, right now we have uh, six cities uh, and then all of them are visualized. So this is it. I hope it gives you an idea how to import data into Backendless with geolocation. You will find a link to the file that I was importing in the description for this video. Uh, thank you, and as always, happy coding.